نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على سيدنا ومولانا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وزرياته أجمعين فالحمد لله رب العالمين أما بعد The five pillars of Islam are Salat, Saum, Hajj, Shahada and Zakat. Why don't we start with a regular activity, Salat, which has been enjoined upon us to pray five times a day, every day from the time we come of age. Isn't that what has been told to us? that five times a day is your prayers and we have to do it every day so still why does the question arise how many times do you pray five times it is a fard there are no exceptions to the rule salat is the first thing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in his book the glorious quran in Surah Baqarah, from verse number 1 to verse number 3, Allah has mentioned that this book, this kitab, is a guidance for those who wish to ward off evil, who wish to ward off all the bad things. And he mentions it in verse number 3. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِيمُونَ السَّلَاةَ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ these are the people, the believers, who believe in ghaib, who establish worship, and who give on who spend of what we have bestowed upon them. The criteria has been set for a moment. You are a moment who reads the Quran because the Quran is the book that's going to ward off evil and that's going to give you guidance. But you are a moment if Alladina Yuminuna. You are a moment if you believe in ghaib. If you establish worship and if you spend of what we have given to you. The criteria has been set for a moment. In a hadith, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, has mentioned the difference between a Muslim and a non-Muslim are his prayers. You are not a Muslim if you do not pray. So, a direct command doesn't seem to be enough for Muslims to pray nowadays. So, Allah goes on to say that the people who believe are moments if they pray. And what do I give them? He has even set a reward for the moments. He has mentioned further onwards in Surah Baqarah in verse number 5. <laughs> That these people who depend on guidance from their Lord, these people who depend on Hidayah from their Allah, these are the people who are successful. Allah has given and He has confirmed success for all those people who pray, all those people who believe in Allah. There you have it. Ways of achieving success 101. You are successful if you pray, if you establish your connection to Allah. Nowadays, people go about telling each and every one, Oh, I am having so many problems. Oh, I can't seem to do these things. I'm just seem, I just seem to be failing in absolutely everything. Well, hello. Pray. Pray five times a day regularly. It's a command from your Lord. It's a command from your Allah. It's a direct command. But you know what? Human beings are the worst own enemy. And this was not going to be enough. A command from Allah was not going to be enough. The fact that if you pray and if you establish constant worship, you're going to be successful. Allah will grant you success. He's confirmed it in his book. But this was not going to be enough. So Allah further elaborated in Surah Baqarah itself. In verse number 153, he says, Ya bisabri was Inna Allah ma'asa birin. O you who believe, O you mu'min, seek help 
in sabr and in prayer definitely allah is with the patient so there you have it you are going to be successful if you pray you are a mu'min first of all you're not a mu'min if you don't pray let's get that right off from the start that you are not a mu'min if you don't pray allah has established that in the beginning of the quran itself and allah has said that if you pray you are a mu'min fine but i will still reward you for praying i will grant you success i confirm your success and even if that is not enough guess what any time you have a problem any time you are in any sort of trouble pray pray to me and i will show you the way out doesn't that seem to be enough for a human being to pray imagine the creator telling you the secrets of being successful getting out of problems but as human beings we still don't accept it i still hear people saying oh well i'm praying two three times a day trying to get it up to five times may allah help me amen allah help you excuse me help help to get you out of bed or help to let you stand up and bow down and do sajda and ruku when a person has to go on a vacation they'll be up first thing in the morning alarm or no alarm but for prayers no just can't seem to get up you know shaitan just stops me well i guess shaitan's definitely being successful isn't it or if someone has an appointment with a stylist or have to go to the gym then of course yeah whatever time whatever energy they'll be there especially at a gym to work out and sweat for hours to get a good physique but then for prayers shaitan doesn't let them stand up or do such tha or in ruku my leg start hurting amazing on the night of miraj our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given prayers as a gift for his ummah prayers is a gift for us he was informed he was enjoined upon 50 prayers for us <laughs> but those 50 prayers thanks to timely intervention and advice of prophet musa alaihi salam was reduced to 5 but allah subhanahu wa taala who is merciful and kind and generous with no limit in sight gave us the sawab of 50 prayers in our 5 prayers imagine we pray 5 times a day 5 times a day doesn't even take overall half an hour 30 minutes and we get the sawab of praying 50 times and still we turn away from a gift that is helpful that is just for us it is it's going to help us be successful it's going to help us getting us out of problems and still that's not a good enough, good enough reason for us to get up on the prayer mat and start praying so allah further explains it in surah hud in verse number 114 it said wa aqim as-salata tarafay an-nahari wa zulfan min al-layl ان الحسنات يذهبن السيئات ذلك الذكرى للذاكرين establish worship at two ends of the day and in some watches of the night because good deeds remove bad deeds imagine good deeds will help remove your bad deeds throughout the day i'm sure all of us must be making some of the other mistakes be it intentionally be it unintentionally sometimes we say something that's wrong sometimes we do some things that are wrong as human 